welcome to uh, welcome back to performance presser performance practices unit portfolio artifact one five five one two seven. I think I got that right. Presser performance practices unit portfolio artifact. I think it's just unit portfolio. I can't remember. Fuck it. Who cares? Um, I'm gonna read some of this article for y'all with y'all. I guess. Lizards communicate by doing push-ups. Did you know that, dude? No, of course you didn't. Neither did I. Also, I think I have a hair stuck in my mouth. All right, let's get started here. Comedia Electronica. So, lowercase c-o, begin all caps, m-e-d-i-a, space, so like Comedia Electronica, colon, Performing Intermediality in Contemporary Theater by Peter M. Bonish. Bonish. He's pretty bonish. Here we go. We'll begin with a uh, little paragraph here in italics. Although the concept of intermediality recently has gained prominence within the discourse of theater studies, still various contradictory definitions of that term circulate, none of which applies insight from the field of media theory to theater. This makes sense to me. Consequently, theater's genuine mediality already implies its intermediality, which in fact can be traced all the way back to classical Greek drama, that makes sense, uh, within the present transformation from McLuhan's Gutenberg galaxy, I definitely know what that means and I'm very proud of myself about that, uh, into an electronic culture, theater now trains its spectators in cognitive strategies of that emerging cultural paradigm. Theater now trains its spectators in cognitive strategies and emerging culture. Does it? It'd be great if it does. Awesome. The performance circulation module by the Japanese group Nest reflects these significant repercussions of electronic culture on theatrical performance in the turn of the 21st century. If that electronic thing is not explained, I'm going to be really pissed off. We'll see what happens. I gotta. I should head out soonish, so I'm not gonna read all of this. This is so hot. I really gotta stir some blow on it or something. Now my glasses are fogged up and I can't read. Okay, here we go. As soon as new media technologies like photography, the telephone, and radio had become more widely available in the early decades of the 20th century. Their effects, on, their effects on and potential interaction with established media and art forms, such as novels and theater, became a matter of, quite often heated, debate. Makes sense. New aesthetic products, especially the moving picture, instigated a broad range of reflection on the influence of media technological innovation on art and its perception. I think about uh, that one where the train, the movie of the train coming towards the audience and the audience freaking out and then people writing about that as, you know, oh, whatever. Um, this time, the discipline of theater studies along with freshly budding performance studies took up the issue with particular fervor uh, as above all, the allegedly essential liveness aspect of performance events suddenly seemed contested by live transmissions on television and the internet. Sounds like Auslander. Simultaneously, new electronic media... See, that... I don't, get, I don't get this on thing. I don't, I don't know. Um, new electronic media quickly had become an integral part of numerous theater performances within various even traditional genres. Thus, what is now commonly referred to as intermediality of theater has become a core feature of any theory of performance in the 21st century. My sons. However, no generally accepted agreement on what the concept of theatrical intermediality actually designates is yet in sight. Where was this article two weeks ago? I nailed it with this pasta today. Oh my God. Just the right amount of cheese, right amount of sauce. Balm himself favors the latter approach, which he exemplifies elsewhere through the analysis of Robert LePage's 1996 production, The Seven Streams of the River Ota, and it's particular in Baum's own terms, strategies of intermediality. LePage, he claims, takes up central narrative strategies of cinema as well as the associative aesthetic of contemporary music videos, and it, oh, hey now, 
Let's see, 1996 music videos. No, well, all right, let's look it up. Popular music videos. Keep in mind, I was three. Okay, let's give it an Ants Marching, sure. It's a great song. I fucking love that song. Let's get a little bit of that going. Yeah, I wonder what I meant. Oh! Fucking hook by Blues Traveler, dude. Fuck out of here, that bitch. <laughs> Shut up, man. Alright, right, where were we? So, homie was working with, uh. Homie was working with the music videos, right? Where are we at here? Okay. Cheese on my lips. All right. LePage takes up central narrative strategies of cinema as well as the associated... Baum's argument in the end, exemplarily... Exemplarily? Exemplarily? Baum's argument in the end does a good job of displaying a recurring pattern in the current discourse on intermediality in theater. Numerous, if not most, contributors to the discussion adhere to a standard formula. Theater plus other media equals intermedial theater. As a basic, as basic as this definition seems, as fundamental as are, uh, are its implications, once LePage, to continue Baum's examples, is said to realize aesthetic strategies of cinema and video clips on the theater stage, such decisive, obviously clearly identifiable features, which are at least prototypical characteristics of these other media, have to exist in the first place. Whereas the discourse on intermediality originally set out to counter traditional quests for media strategic purity in the fine arts, cinema, and other media, those rejected concepts uh, eventually have sneaked in, snuck, not snuck, we can't say snuck now, we need to say sneaked, sneaked in once more through the back door. Fanshawe, come here. Okay, I thought that what's being described here, theater being made just as theater that is influenced by media-specific forms, ideas, tropes, whatever, from other media, so media influencing other media, the recreation of aesthetic conventions from, of one particular medium within a different medium, I thought that was mixed media. Or I thought there was a difference between mixed media and intermediality. Clearly, I don't know what I'm talking about. Shit is so good, Fanshawe. Oh my god. Alright. I don't know I don't know if I'm gonna finish this before I gotta leave, guys. Yeah, I can't I don't have time to finish this before I gotta head out. So I'm gonna have to stop filming for right now. Point is, guys. The song Hook by Blues Traveler has a great harmonica solo, and this pasta was the shit. Alright, we'll check it out.